Amaruza's neighbors sue her husband for failing to maintain their home. Amaruza Manigault Newman and her pastor husband have been hit with a lawsuit over the upkeep of their moldy Florida home and fed and swimming pool, DailyMail.com can reveal. Neighbors are demanding that the publicity-hungry apprentice villain and her husband scrub their walls and repair or replace the roof of their $615,000 property on an upscale golfing development in suburban Jacksonville. They also want neglected areas of dead grass to be replaced and the pool chemically treated over fears it is becoming a hazard and a breeding ground for mosquitoes. The list of demands are spelled out in a $15,000 suit filed against John Allen Newman who married the ousted White House aide, 44, in April last year after proposing in front of his congregation. Her net worth has been estimated at $3.5 million with that figure likely to soar on the back of Amaro's upcoming tell-all memoir, Unhinged, about her volatile stint in the Trump administration. Her 63-year-old husband, a registered Democrat who worked on former President Barack Obama's 2008 campaign has faced a string of money troubles, however. The respected leader of the sanctuary at Mount Calvary Church in central Jacksonville has twice filed for bankruptcy, most recently in 2013 with debts of $1,225,764. Three years later, Newman's 2014 Buick LaCrosse sedan was repossessed after he fell behind on his repayments, owing $42,885. GM are still chasing him for the outstanding $23,516 debt, according to court documents filed in June. While Amarosa was one of the highest paid White House staffers in 2017 earning $179,700 per year, Newman declared in his 2014 divorce from ex-wife Andrea Johnson that he made a modest annual income of $48,000. He kept their marital home under the settlement but has since fallen behind in common fees and other charges to the tune of $11,063 according to the Jacksonville Golf and Country Club Property Owners Association. Their suit filed June 26 last year at the Duval County Courthouse, further accuses Newman of ignoring repeated requests to carry out maintenance on the four-bed, 3,000-square-feet property. Officials demanded that he maintain the exterior of home including mold, mildew removal on the roof to return it to an acceptable standard, or if not possible then a complete replacement of the roof. Removal of the dead tree resting on the fence in the backyard. Replacement of the dead grass and maintain the landscape material in an acceptable manner. Complete chemical treatment of the swimming pool to return it to a normal condition to avoid any hazard to neighbors including potential mosquito problems. The suit adds, to date defendant has failed or refused to make all the necessary repairs. Court records reveal that an attempt at mediation failed and the case is listed for an October 15 hearing. Amarosa and Newman met in Washington, D.C. in 2016 while she was teaching at Howard University and he was working for the non-profit golf My Future My Game which encourages black teenagers to take up the sport. They dated for about a year before he dropped to one knee in the middle of a Sunday service and proposed. Amarosa, who is also an assistant pastor at Weller Street Baptist Church in Los Angeles, accepted and now lists her home as Jacksonville on social media. The wedding was originally scheduled to take place at the sanctuary but was relocated to the Trump International Hotel in D.C. amid security concerns and rumored opposition from members of Newman's largely black flock who were reportedly unhappy that he was marrying a close Trump ally. That's not true, I witnessed this proposal and we welcomed it as a joyous occasion, said a regular worshipper who declined to give her name. Amaruza is a strong, intelligent, highly educated black woman. I love her. We are all happy to have her here. Another member, Erlene Smith, told DailyMail.com that the Amaros attends services at her husband's side every week and takes her duties seriously despite her recent media fanfare. I think they are a very close, loving couple working together doing great work in the ministry, said Smith. As for the Trump stuff, I'll let God sort all that out, but I support her, of course. Amaruza was previously married to Aaron Stallworth for five years before the couple split in 2005. 
DailyMail.com exclusively revealed this week that she went on to have a six-month fling later that same year with Michael Misik, the corruption-tainted former prime minister of the Turks and Caicos Islands. The Caribbean politician was said to have been so impressed with the reality TV star that he sought her out for PR advice and even consulted Amaroza on political decisions. Misik was forced from office in 2009 amid a corruption probe and went on trial three years ago for fraud, bribery and money laundering in a case that is still ongoing at a cost of $1 million a month. Amaruza subsequently began dating Green Mile actor Michael Clark Duncan who died of a heart attack in 2012. Newman ended his 20-year marriage to 51-year-old ex-wife Andrea in August 2014 citing irreconcilable differences. The couple did not have any children. He kept the marital home they had originally bought together in 2002 for $359,000 but Andrea walked away with the dining room furniture, master bedroom set, foyer furniture and an unspecified amount of alimony. Newman has been with his church for more than three decades and also serves as the secretary and director of Jacksonville Port Authority. He's led numerous charity projects there, from feeding the poor to giving away free gas, and has also ministered at more than 60 churches in Kenya and Uganda. The sanctuary's website says Newman has a history of political activism dating as far back as his college days when he advocated for greater rights for migrant workers. He worked with Jesse Jackson's presidential campaign for the Northeast Florida area from 1984-88 and campaigned for Nat Glover the first African-American sheriff in Florida's history.